Hi, my name is Ernest Friendly from MyPo for Oz, and I just want to go through a quick setup of our battery kits using the daily um, BMS. Um, so uh, the daily BMS comes in a 12, 24, 36, or 48-volt um, unit. This one here is the 48, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in and set up a 12-volt battery kit using the 4S 12-volt BMS. Um, so let's jump into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how quickly you can put one of our battery kits together. So this kit here is a 12 volt 4S uh, kit, um, but if you've got a 24, 36 or 48, the process um, and the uh, how you put it together is pretty much exactly the same. The only major difference is you've got more cells. So a 24 volt kit has eight cells. 36 volt kit has 12 cells and finally a 16S kit has 16 cells. So first of all, with our BMS, I'll open up the BMS box and inside the BMS box, you'll notice that you should receive a letter similar to this uh, from us. This will basically have information on where you can find this video uh, along with others, but basically on the product page where you purchase the item um, uh, down the bottom, um, under documents and videos, you'll be able to find other resources on how to put this kit together and and, uh, and whatnot. Now, when you open up the BMS box, uh, inside the box, you'll have your BMS, okay? Uh, if you've purchased it, you'll have your parallel module. And again, if you've purchased it, and we highly recommend, you get your active balancer. So this is the daily one amp active balancer. In terms of your cables, okay, you'll receive uh, a USB um, can, oh sorry, USB um, UART connector. So this is if you want to connect the BMS to a PC. Uh, sorry, these are uh, these cables here again. If you've purchased it, so the blue one, black one, and a red one that goes with your parallel module. This cable here, which is a black one in the middle, and the rest. That's CAN RS485 cable. So this cable here is if you want to connect the BMS and communicate to something like an inverter. So for example, the GrowWatt inverter can communicate with this BMS. However, it's not plug and play. You do need to um, basically connect this cable with the GrowWatt cable in order for the BMS to communicate it. But we include it so that you can do that if you want to, okay? The Bluetooth cable, okay, so the one with the disc um, that's your Bluetooth cable, so I'll leave that one here. And then we also include the battery monitor in our kits, which um, some others don't, but we do. And finally, uh, is our is what we call your balance cables, or this is our balance Y cables. Okay, now um, we include, this is a customized cable that we actually have manufactured for ourselves. Um, other suppliers don't have this as, as, as far as I'm aware, uh, unless they've copied us, but it's a Y cable so you can connect it to your BMS and to the active balancer. But more importantly, the eyelets that are on the end here, um, they're already connected where if you purchased a BMS from a competitor or even from us in the past, you would need to connect these eyelets yourself. So we actually have that um, already done for you. Most of the support cases we had in the beginning with these BMSs um, was the fact that the customer hadn't actually crimped these wires uh, properly. So that's the reason why we've gone and, and manufactured this self ourselves to ensure that you get a good connectivity between the balance cable and the eyelet. So uh, I'll put that there. I'll pull out our BMS. Okay. Put that there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll connect this and you'll see how quickly it is to connect. So I'll move my BMS to the side for now. Okay. Here's our battery cells. So I'll just move those a little bit closer. Okay, on your battery cells, you've got black um, uh, ring or, or where the terminal is, and then say a beige or a cream one. Now, contrary to most batteries, the black is actually the positive um, and the, the beige is the negative. You can test that by grabbing a multimeter, okay? And then if we connect the probes on, you'll see that we get 3.9 or 2.9. If I swap that over, multimeter, you'll see that it's a negative, yeah? If we're gonna connect it in a 12 volt configuration, we swap the cells around so that we've got our positive negative 
is I'm gonna make uh, this side my main negative and this side our main positive. So, in, your, in the box with the um, cells, receive some bus bars, you should receive your terminal nuts and you should also receive these um, insulation sheets. So, with the insulation sheets, they just go in between the cells like so. Um, it depends on how you're using your cells, if you're gonna, if you really need these. Um, but this is basically in situations of like caravans, motorhomes, in transport situations where you're using the cells, you can put them in between the cells to stop them rubbing, rubbing between each other. Underneath the blue wrapping is actually the positive side of the battery. So uh, you put those in so that the insulation wrapping doesn't get rubbed through. Once we've done that, we go ahead and I place our bus bars where they should be. Now, in terms of securing these cells together, you can get, you know, some, some um, tape um, or like gaffer tape or material tape and wrap them around to ensure that they don't move or anything like that. Um, you can fix them. What fixing is, is compressing the cells. Um, so um, once you start cycling them, increase the lifespan of the cells, but I believe that's yet to be proven. Once we've got our cells like that, we go and we get our balance leads. Now these are our balance leads or our Y cable balance leads. So to connect up the balance leads, we've got one black one and four red ones. So to connect them up, we basically connect the first um, black one to the main negative of the bank. Okay, so we'll call that cell number one. Okay, and then the next red one we connect to the positive of that same cell, so positive of cell number one. I'll just put some nuts there to hold them there. Okay, then we get the next red wire. So the next red wire then goes to the positive of cell number two. The next red wire then goes to the positive of cell number three. And the last one goes to the main or positive of cell number four or our main positive. Okay, just like so. Okay, um, on our BMS, so if I look at our BMS, you'll notice that we've got a blue cable, which is our B minus cable, and our P cable, which is our um, main, uh, like a black cable. So what you can do as well is before you connect it, and I'll just do it like, like so is we put that on our main negative as well. Yep. Put on the rest of the nuts, so we put them on like so. And then what I do is I get something like a socket set, and without the ratchet, I simply just do it up by hand. Okay. Finger tight. And then I get something like the ratchet, okay. And once it's um, finger tight, all I do is I basically just give it a quarter turn. Now, there's um, information out there, or a lot of people ask us, what sort of tension should you put them up to? There's stuff out there saying that, you know, it's five Newton, uh, Newton meters. Um, to be honest with you, these, these, these terminals are actually welded on the cells after. There's actually no specific specification from the manufacturer saying exactly the, the tightness of what it should be. The other thing as well, these terminals aren't holding anything these are just simply there to hold the, the, the bus bars and the wires in place, but also to make sure that you've got a good connection. And so they don't need to be, you know, super tight. Once you've got those in place, go and grab your multimeter, okay? Um, put it on your DC setting. And hopefully, again, you can see that. And then what you do is you go and you get your balance wires, okay? And you um, put your black terminal or probe from the multimeter and again i'll try and put this so you can see it so i'll put that over there or i'll put it on top it's not going to conduct okay so i'll you grab your multi, your balance wires put the black one on the black terminal like so if you can see that and then i put the red one on the next on the first red one and it gives me a reading 3.29 okay i go to the next one 3.2 Okay, 
and all I'm doing is I'm just checking that they've got connectivity. Now, I didn't mention before, but these cells here aren't brand new cells. I've used these cells before. I'm just demonstrating on how to connect them with the BMS. Okay, so they will be out, yeah? 3.2 and then what's our last one? Have we got connectivity? Yep, 3.29. Okay, so we've got connectivity. The reason why I do that test in the way I do it, so I don't hold it on the black one and then just move the red wire along. The reason why I move both prongs along is in a 48 volt kit where you've got you know, seven of these wires, 17 of these wires, it's hard, it's easy to get mixed up. So the reason why I do it like that is I make sure that everyone's 3.2. If you, you leave the one on the black one and then you keep on going up, you basically need to make sure that each one's going up by 3.2. One of these cables, the opposite way around. So instead of, you know, second or third cells, it was vice versa. And I went and did this test, didn't uh, move the prong along and it was quite easy to not see the mistake that I've made. So that's the way that I suggest that you do it. Up to you if you follow it. Um, okay, so our battery kit's actually now together, okay? Um, all you need to do now, and now this is the other thing as well I should have told you before, do not connect these cables to the BMS while you're wiring this together because it can damage what's called the MOC, uh, sorry, MOS in the um, the MOS in the, um, in the BMS, okay? So only once this has been put together and it's connected, we can go ahead and we can connect the um, connection to the BMS, like so. And what you can also do is if you've got your, act your active balancer, we can connect that as well um, just in here. Okay, these two are, these two cables are actually different. Okay, sorry, connectors are different. So if you're trying to put one in and it's not going in, it's because you've got it around the wrong way. Okay, now once the active balancer is connected, it's really hard to see. You probably won't see that with the camera, but there's actually a little green light here. Okay, so that light is actually now on. Okay, now what we can do is we can go ahead and we can set this up now. Personally, I start with the active balancer, so we'll go ahead and we'll set up the active balancer. So grab your Bluetooth dongle and you plug that into the UART uh, port on your active balancer. So plug it in and then press the button just here on the, um, uh, uh, on the Bluetooth dongle. And I'll now jump into the, the phone. Once you've set up the active balancer, undo the um, Bluetooth dongle from the active balancer. Once it's set up, there's no need to have the active balance, the a Bluetooth dongle plugged into the active balancer. If for whatever reason you do want two Bluetooth dongles, maybe because the active balancer is going to be hard to get to once it's set up, you know you can purchase another one off them. Um, believe it or not, these things cost us ten dollars. Um, so you can add another one to your order, or if after the fact you want another one, you just have to um, pay us that plus postage. Once you want to set up your um, BMS, again, we grab our Bluetooth and we plug that into the UART um, in the, in the um, BMS. So I'll go ahead and I'll jump into the phone to set up that. If you want to contact us about any of our other cells or our other products, then you can either chat to us through the website. We aim to respond reasonably quickly when we can. Now, if you want to contact us through some other means, then go to the contact us page on our website. And there's some of the other options there as well. Lastly, if you're going to set up these kits or work with lithium ion phosphate cells, then please check out our product safety guidelines to ensure that you protect yourself and the cells.